Now see, there's a, there's a terrible thing happening in the Church of Jesus Christ. I've been talking about this for a long time, and I don't find a very welcome ear generally to this. Jesus Christ is a lot of things. Hallelujah. Yes, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Yes. He's the King of Kings. He's the King of Glory. He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. He's a lot of things, but he is not a mentor. No. Oh, no, he is not. No, no. He's not a mentor. No. Okay? You know what? Mentor, by the way, comes from Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. Mentor a is a person in Greek mythology mm -hmm. that comes from Homer's Odyssey, that great epic work, the Odyssey, right? The Odyssey and the Iliad and the Odyssey, mm -hmm. which is about the, the Trojan Wars, the war with Greece against Troy. Mm -hmm. And the king of Ithaca entrusted his son, as he went off to war, to that, to that war in Troy, he entrusted his son, uh, his name was Telemachus, to his trusted advisor named Mentor. Mentor was a person, okay? Now, that, throughout history now, so that Mentor has come to mean a trusted advisor, assisting in the growth of another person. That sounds reasonable, doesn't it? And the difference between a mentor and a teacher or a disciple. A mentor gives you advice. Advice. He has no authority. A yes. master gives you a command. Right. You see, you're you're free. Let's say you you know you have a financial advisor and you go out and he tells you, I think you should do this. Well you you know, then the choice is in you it's your, the choice is yours. Always, always have the you choice. You can you can take that advice or did not take that advice. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's up to you. That that you are free to do that. A disciple is not free to, to do that. Jesus Christ does not make suggestions. He does not give advice. He gives commands. He is Lord, and you are obligated, obligated if you love Him to keep those commandments. Otherwise, you're not a disciple. And he is not your Lord. Oh, he will be, because every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Would you say that once you choose to accept Jesus as your Lord, then you have no more choice after that? You are, if we're going to imitate Jesus Christ, let's go back to the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ said, not my will, but thy will be done. You surrender your will. Yes. Paul talked about, Paul, probably outside of Jesus, the greatest preacher the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. He said, if I, if I do this, I have nothing to boast of. I do it under compulsion. Right, right. You know, I, I, I know I've shared this, and I, I just say this because it's the way it is. The day that I encountered, I had a radical encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ that changed my life totally, completely, absolutely forever yes. on that day. And I had a conversation with the living God. And he said to me, you have had your life, now it's mine. Amen. Amen. We, we're not in a partnership where he makes a suggestion, I make suggestions, and we kind of debate back and forth which way to go. No. Because otherwise, I would not be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Right. Nor would I be what we call a Christian. I would be a tear among the wheat. This is, this is so terribly, terribly important, particularly in this day and age. This is what we were talking about last week when I was saying you've got to be prepared. How Prepared for what? Well, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, going on into 4, right? When he talks about how men will hold to a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. In chapter 4, he says, For the time will come when men will not endure sound doctrine. What we're talking about here is sound doctrine. But rather, what he says that they're going to do is they will accumulate for themselves teachers who will teach according to their own desires. Mentors. At best. Okay? And by the way, why, how, how has it risen so much that all you hear in the church is people talking about mentors? Yes. Okay? We are called, Jesus said, go out into all the world and make disciples. I am, you know what? I want to make disciples, not disciples of me. No, 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 no. Disciples of Jesus. It is interesting that if you look up the word disciples in your concordance, you know, you get a list of like 47. 
That's just an estimate. Go look up the word mentor yeah. in the Bible. It's yeah. not there. No, try Greek mythology, you'll find it a lot. Try, try, yeah. try the typical university library, and you'll find it a lot. Try the typical pulpit, and you'll find it a lot. I got a question. What's mythology? It's a myth. It's a myth. So you're using worldly myths to guide you instead of the Word of God. So, and there you go. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Okay. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word have I hid, O oh God, in my heart. My heart, that I might not sin against thee. Deliver me from all of my sins. Open my lips and I will.